Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I've done a lot of reading, being a member, responsible member of the Environmental Committee, like all of us, to try to really understand this problem. And I found that 13% uh, of the greenhouse gas emissions are from the United States. So I did use the calculator on my phone. That means, based on our population, Connecticut might be as little as under 0.02% of the world's emissions. The problem is the developing world, we're as a country and a state are using less and less green, emitting less and less greenhouse gases, while the developing world is using more. So unfortunately, I think those on both sides who were expressing pessimism about our goal, uh, ability to meet the goals are probably right. So I want to suggest an alternate path, a bipartisan path, that this roadmap should look at, which is adaptation. Right now, um, at 45 to 50 percent of our electricity in the state comes from nuclear. Now, I've learned that the Department, U.S. Department of Energy has approved new models of um, small modular fission reactors. So this is a path that we need to look at closely, perhaps increasing the proportion of our nuclear energy much higher than it is now, which could be absolute win. We could have more energy, more resilient grid, cheaper energy in the long run, and Connecticut could ha really have a renaissance if we could have cheap, abundant electricity. I know we're heading more and more people want electric cars, and there may not be enough electrical supply in this state. So I think this is something that we could possibly all agree on and need to look very closely on uh, very soon and maybe become leaders in this area. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker.